Good day, folks. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Small Rig's updated frame for the DJI Osmo Action. Just a little bit of a backstory here. Small Rig released this frame for the Osmo Action quite some time ago. Personally, myself, the Small Rig frame was my favorite out of all the ones that were on the market. Just for the fact that it's made of aluminum, it's nice and durable. It's very standardized, so it gives you a lot of options for adding different things like handles and accessories. Usually, people will use these style of frames when they're going to be mounting a microphone, and that's kind of where the problem came in. DJI released this microphone adapter by Sonova, and Unfortunately, it does not work with a lot of the frames that were on the market, and that includes the small rig frame. There was a lot of people who did some do-it-yourself hacks, which involved cutting part of the frame out. Small rig has released an updated version that now is compatible with the Sonova microphone adapter. So let's just jump right in and we'll take a look. So before we get going too far here, I'll kind of show you what the problem was. We'll install our Osmo Action into the original, the older frame. You can see here when we take the Sonova microphone adapter for the Osmo Action, there's just no way that it'll fit in there. This part of the frame is just way too thick. And unfortunately that USB-C port just cannot make contact. So Small Rig has released an updated version that will work with it. It really is an unfortunate situation, especially for those of us who bought the original model. Anyways, let's take a look at the new updated model. We'll compare it to the old model, and then we'll double test just to make sure that indeed does fit. So in the package, we get our Allen keys and a couple screws. We get the frame. We get a finger mount. And we get that attachment we can put on the front if you want to attach 52 millimeter lenses to it. You can see there when you look at the top, they've kind of updated the top as well. On the original model, you can see that they just had some tripod thread screws, quarter 20, and I can't remember what that size there is in the middle. But on the newer model, they actually have added a cold shoe, which is nice because that's very important. You need that if you're going to attach a microphone. With the older model, you had to purchase a cold shoe attachment separately and put it on either side or the top there. So that's really nice. And if we look at the side here, we have another cold shoe. So if you're a person who likes to put your microphone on the side, or if you want to add a light, you can do so there as well. So you can see that there is a little bit of a difference there. Again, they had just some quarter 20s over here. There's still one quarter 20 there. So if you do need to attach some kind of attachment, the bottom is identical there. Of course, we still have to add our finger mount but uh, you can see we have quarter 20s along the bottom it's this side here that's very important you can see that it's cut out so it will accept the uh, microphone adapter and a little cutout on the door for the cable and just to show you there that's where you would attach the filter adapter so we'll insert the osmo action and then we'll tighten it up so the osmo action fits in there nicely and then we'll take our sonova microphone adapter it actually fits in there really nicely and it's kind of held in place by the frame. That's kind of one problem that some people were having is that it was really loose just the way it would plug in normally. Uh, but this frame looks like it will help hold it in place and keep it from moving around too much. So now we can add our microphone to the top and then our cable. Just like that. Then all we have to do is add some type of handle. Here I've added a power bank handle. It's got a USB-A port there, so you could actually plug that into the bottom of the Sonova adapter, and you could charge your Osmo Action while filming. So yeah, definitely a nice little updated case from Small Rig. A lot of these new improvements do make it more usable. Being able to mount the Sonova microphone adapter in there is really important. And the addition of cold shoes so you can attach microphones and accessories is a really nice touch as well. Anyways, folks, that's basically it for my video. Thanks a lot for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.